Hey, it's Mike Hayden here. Uh, just to clear up some confusion about how the internet works and what happens when you change uh, your domain and hosting. So this is you here, you're the parent. Uh, you type into your computer www.domain.com, uh, which is this here. This here is domain.com, it's your, it's your URL. So you type it into the address bar and it goes there. All right, cool. Now, the domain has name servers. This arrow here is the name server and the names the where the name servers are put and the name servers point to this one here. Okay, right? This is the hosting account. Now the hosting account all it is is just files on a computer somewhere. But if you don't have the um if if you don't have the domain pointing to anything, then it can't find obviously it can't find where the files are obviously so you point it to this one here right this is where the files are sitting currently and then it's all good and that's what you see every single day people type in the domain and it goes here now the address here isn't the domain the, ad the address here is an IP address which is a, a collection of um, numbers um, which you can change or whatever, but the this is this location here is a collection of numbers. This here makes it easy, so we don't have to remember, you know, one nine two dot one six four dot zero dot four. You don't have to remember that. You just have to um, remember www.domain.com. Cool. So when you change the name servers, remember this is the name server here. When you change the name servers to point to this IP address, then the files have to be the files have to be put here because at the moment they're sitting here, but they've got to be put over to here. Um, whether you copy that so that there's two um, two copies of it, or whether you just move them straight across, or whatever. The point is, the files are currently sitting here. This one is just a blank computer that's you know there's, there's no files on it so if this arrow here is pointing there then we're all good if it's pointing there you still type in that but it it goes to this computer you need to take these the files from here and you need to put them on there once they are on there then when someone types in the domain they come it, the domain goes okay I know where the files are and they go here and the files there are the ones that you want to show Hope that makes sense and I'll see you next time.